Okay, so welcome guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and run SM Edit. Now, the best way to do this is actually to visit the starmadewiki.com slash wiki slash SM Edit. The link will be in the description for this. Now, when you get to this page, which is this, this is the page I'm on right now, um, you will see that there is a download link right here. Okay, and uh, you can download this. This is where I would recommend you use the download. Um, even though you can download the actual uh, the jar from here, it's basically the same link. So just download it. Um, the features of SM Edit. You can move and rotate the core, which will be covered in a uh, following tutorial. Paint and style, which we will we will cover briefly, but uh, there will be another tutorial on that as well. Importing standard models, of course, I've actually shown this or the output of this in previous uh, videos. But we're going to go through the uh, the whole process from start to finish, finding um, uh, finding a model converting it with binvox to voxel format and then importing SM edit for the binvox file um, although it can import obj files there are a few uh, artifacts that may be added to the model such as a thousand kilometer long a thousand meter long um, stretches of hull which may be awkward to remove from the model afterwards so it's best to clean it up with binvox and then import it with SM Edit. After that, you can do various things with the tool, um, and I hope to show you those in the future. Um, thankfully, uh, somebody's put up a, a screenshot of uh, one of the things I created with this tool, um, which I posted up on Reddit. And as you can see, this is a Gundam RX-78. You will notice that the color is slightly in the wrong place, and that is because I painted it in SM Edit with the intention of touching it up later in the game. So the bulk of the work has been done with a sort of rough outline of where I had to just sort of tidy it up a little bit. So, um, let's move on to the actual installation. So, if I click on the download link here, it's going to take me to the starmademultiverse.com and here we go, starmadeedit.jar 1.0 so I'm going to click on download here and this is going to put the, I oh, obviously agree and download now that's going to start downloading to our uh, computer here so I'm just going to say keep it's got a bracket one there because I've already downloaded this before. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go to our downloads folder and then we're going to copy the files into our StarMade installation. Now, some people might be saying, right, right, where's my StarMade installation? Well, every time you run the game, you run something called StarMade Starter.jar. Now, you're going to see something like this. I've got it in a folder called New Build StarMade. That's because this is the current build, or should be. Um, you will be running this StarMade Starter.jar to run the game. And wherever you've placed this StarMade Starter, there will be a uh, folder okay, called StarMade. That is your default installation. You can verify this by looking at the list in your blueprints, because once you get SMEdit open, you will be able to open the blueprints, and you'll be able to see that this list matches. Uh, if you run multiple installations, you may run into a bit of trouble like I did, but I worked out uh, how to fix it. And the way is to ensure that the Joe plugins folder, complete with Joe file mods, these are both installed by the SM Edit tool, um, along with Joe SM, the executable jar file. These are all put in the correct place when you run uh, SM. Where is it now? When you run smedit.jar. So if I just take this one here, smedit.jar, if I just literally copy this and then paste it into this folder here, which is my installation for StarMade. So we're working in the StarMade folder. So all you would have had to do at this point is copy from downloads the smedit.jar file and put it in your StarMade install file, wherever that is put it in the folder along with all of the other uh, files which are to do with the game. So once you've got that in place, and I'm actually going to remove my Joe SM here by renaming it, so just got to imagine that's not there. 
and then this way it won't know. In fact, no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna make that even easier to understand. I'm just gonna literally move this and this out of the directory completely. And I'm gonna put them on the desktop. So they're gonna go. Right, there we go. So right now, all it's got in here is SM Edit. So we're gonna double click on that. It's gonna say there's a new version available because it can't see anything there. We're gonna say yes. And then that is going to download the JoSM executable jar file and run the uh, program. And this is SMEdit. You'll see down at the bottom there's a little memory indicator. And then we've got the main menus up along the top here. I'm just going to resize it a little bit. There we go. Now I'm not going to go into this too much right now, but I'm just going to show you something. If I click modify, you get a grey area. And this grey area means that it can't find the Joe plugins. And as you can see here, they've not been installed. So um, what you need to do is effectively uh, copy them from another folder. And you say, where are you going to get them from? Well, they're downloaded by this SM edit. Okay. So what I actually ended up doing was I created, because it wasn't creating my folder in the correct directory, what I did was I created a, a fresh installation into which I installed uh, it again and this time I got the folder and there's my plugins but it still wouldn't load them because this isn't seen as the primary installation so I take the Joe file mods uh, folder in its you know in total and I take it back to my primary installation obviously if you've only got one install none of this applies to you all you had to do was run SM edit and it will put the files in place but this is a reason why modify is grayed out so control V make sure you've got Joe plugins in the correct folder and this is how you would verify that double click Joe SM so SM edit and then go to file open when you see in file open you'll see blueprints inside blueprints you'll see all of these now uh, with my alternate S, my SM edit installation, if you look in blueprints, there's nothing in there but the but the default. So of course you know that this isn't looking at the second install, because of course there's no blueprints there. However, if you look in the primary install, the list matches. Okay. So that means we know we're dealing with the right installation. We know that we put the plugins in the right folder. And as a result, the modify menu will work. Okay? So that means everything is working. The only way I check that everything's working is just over up. And if modify is there, it should have loaded everything. So we're going to close that there. And I'm just going to go through that one more time, just in case I uh, went too quickly or anything like that. So. We download smedit.jar. We copy smedit.jar from our uh, from our install from our downloads folder into our StarMade installation folder. The StarMade installation folder is found in the same directory as your starter application. If we go inside here, you will need to double click on smedit, and if it runs without asking to update you have the current version if you then click on modify and you see this menu everything's gone fine if you don't see this menu you need to verify the Joe plugins folder is in place and contains Joe file mods now you can still use all the features of uh, uh, of SM edit without needing to install the plugins however Certain features such as hollow, export OBJ, fill, move, reflect, rotate the ship around the core, and scale the ship's size, along with uh, generating hulls and importing binvox and OBJs, none of that can be done. What you can do, you can view it without any textures, you can view the axis, so you can see the XYZ on the ship. Um, you can in here you can say view all which is what we're looking at now view power which will only show you the power in the, in the uh, ship view engines which have only shows you the engines uh, view repair 
so no, we don't have any of that. Uh, salvage, again, none of that on this ship. Weapon, so that will show AMCs, computers, etc. View missiles done, view missiles heat, and view missiles... Uh, they must be the uh, lock-on missiles, which are actually called bunker busters, SDBBs, in the game. Right, so we take the axis off, click all, and then we have the ship, okay? If I click on edit here, we have undo, redo, select all, copy, cut, select none, paste, delete, harden, smooth, soften. Now, soften will turn any hull blocks to unpowered, like, like they are now. Harden will turn all of the blocks to hardened hulls, as you can see here, which is very useful for turning an entire ship to hardened. Smooth actually adds wedges. So as you can see, it's taken the rough edges here and it's tried, it's attempted to add wedges to smoothen the design out. So that's very useful. Um, other than that, we have open, which is opening our blueprints, turrets, stations, shops, planets and rocks. Okay, so that's really useful. Um, we're just going to say cancel there. Open file, which means we're going to look outside of the uh, standard installation path. Again, open file, this will show you your installation path as well. As long as you know roughly where it is, of course. Um, save, we'll save this current blueprint that you're working with. Save as, you can say a blueprint, because it's new for example. Default blueprint, which would put it in with all of the pirates' ships. And then file, so that would be for exporting, I believe. Um, but I'm not, not entirely sure, I've never used the file, so let's have a look here. Star made ship file, there you go. I tend to only use blueprint though, my, myself. Um, I'm not going to look at export images because it seems to be pretty self. In fact, no, I will look at that, but not right now. We'll come back to it. Exit, obviously exit. Now, if I choose here, we've got paint blank. So if I go paint red, we have a radius set to one. If I right click, I can paint in red however I want. Okay. Um, if I now go undo, it'll put everything back to how it was. So, completely reverses everything I did. Except for the hardened hole, funnily enough, actually. It reversed all the block changes, not the type. So, uh, obviously I can choose a higher radius if I want, so I could put a giant purple bit on there. Um, you can also use clear to clear the selection, so now it's blank again, it won't actually paint anything. You can go select all, you have to choose the colour first. So you choose the colour and then click all. And that will change the ship to one colour. Additionally there are mods, so I'm just going to undo again to go back. If you look inside mods here we've got replace, okay. So colour one, black, colour two, white. So let's have a look. And it's converted all the black box to white. White, Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, if I go to mods, stripes, then what we're going to have here is you've got your x-axis, your x-width, x-width 2. So let's just have a look at some of these and see what we can do to change them. So remember it's x, y, z, color 1, color 2. So I'm just going to literally, you should always experiment with all the options. It's not going to hurt, so... If I'm going to say uh, true to the x-axis, and then we'll just say black and white, OK. And as you can see, we've got a black and white stripe design on the x-axis. So, let's have a look at what else we can do with that. If I change this to 5 and 5, we've got a far much different design. And you'd think, well, what's the, what's the use in that? So, let's just continue, and I'm going to go with... 8 and 8. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So if I just go to, say, 9 and 9, I reckon we should get it split down the middle. Uh, no, 
because it's of course this is an unevenly uh, it's uneven it's odd odd symmetry on this ship so anyway I can do it the other way perhaps so let's just take this back to one one and then false and then we're gonna go with the Z this time so we'll go the other way and we'll go with eight and eight just for say and then we've got it split down the middle which is nice Another little trick which somebody uh, brought, which somebody told me, I think it was actually Joe told me this one. If you go stripes and then you turn false, you go true on the Y, false, the Y is obviously up, down, okay? Uh, Z being forward, back, and X being left, right. So it's just one, you know, like, just like that. Anyway, we'll cover that in more detail. If I go eight and eight, Alright, I think that's going to actually be too much because the ship is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's say 4 and 3. And then instead of black and white, we're going to use blue and white. Okay. Ah, oh, still did that wrong. Back to the stripes. I put the numbers in the wrong place. 1 and 1, 4 and 3. Bang. Oh, see, my maths are just slightly off, so let's just cancel, let's just go back, and mods, and stripes, okay, four and four, say, I could have sworn that's correct, there we go, but I've got it upside down, <laughs> like I say, trial and error is your friend, because you will learn, um, so I need to change this to white and this to blue. Uh, there we go. And now we have a sort of, um, you know, a white underbelly with a blue top. And I think somebody did this with a shark model, and that was the example I was given for that particular uh, demonstration of how to use the stripes. Obviously, you can use them in various different ways. So if I was to just, for say, click true here and then two and two, let's see what it does it's going to create a pattern in both directions so you can actually alternate the pattern here and uh, to be honest this would be a great way to uh, be able to paint reactors but I know that's not what this is for so I'm going to move on because we've just got the holes here that's what we're going to deal with is painting so again now we've gone over a few of the basic features I'm just going to recap one last time once you install the software from smedit on the starmadewiki.com you will be taken to the starmademultiverse.com to download the file. This file must be placed inside your uh, Starmade installation folder okay? and you must bear in mind if you're running multiple versions for example so you can connect to old servers you will actually need to install SMEdit to your main installation. I've already showed two ways to check which is your main installation as far as SMEdit is concerned. Easiest way to get around it is simply to install SMEdit into every single installation you have. But to be honest, you only need the Joe SM in the root folder and the Joe plugins folder if you want to use things under the modify menu. So that's pretty much it for uh, uh, basic use. Um, I'm going to come back to each of the features and cover them in uh, later videos and we're going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on the conversion of OBJs um, including the Binvox uh, process. So uh, thanks for watching guys and please do come back soon. You can always check uh, Mushroom Fleet up on uh, mushroomfleet.co.uk or the YouTube or the Facebook or the Twitter. So please support SM Edit. It's a truly powerful tool and um, like I say I've been using it to import some uh, interesting models like I say <laughs> like the Gundam and I will be finishing this off. I'm not just, uh, even though I could just put it as a trophy near my station, couldn't have done it without SM Edit's help. So thanks to Joe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.